Hello NextLab users. The purpose of today's tutorial is going to show you some of the new functionality on our forecast soundings page. As most of you probably know, our homepage resides at weather.cod.edu uh, for a URL. And entering that URL will give you to our homepage and on our top menu bar for our new forecast sounding functionality, you'll be looking to click left click weather analysis tools and then numerical models, which will give us uh, our forecast page that's been in operation uh, over the past few months and been making some upgrades. So across the top menu bar you have all of your main models. Now the forecast sounding functionality currently works for the RAP, the NAM, and the GFS models. So for purposes of this demonstration I'll be sticking with the NAM, but this also applies to any of the uh, other two models, the RAP and the GFS. Okay, So I'll click NAM and on the left hand side you'll notice we've added some status bars indicating the percent that the run is finished and also the current most current run for this case right now the most current run is valid at 06 Zulu it is 100 percent finished and then I can select other parameters or levels that I'm looking for from the left hand side menu so for purpose of this demonstration I'll do surface and 2 meter theta E this defaults to the large-scale U.S. CONUS sector, but if I'd like to examine other closer zoomed-in sectors, I can do so. Now would probably be a good time to change that. I'll go to Select Sector View, South Central, and now I get a much better zoomed-in view of the South Central Great Plains. Now, mousing over the forecast hours at the top, you'll see that the valid time changes. This is our rollover function. Um, wherever you stop in terms of the rollover will dictate the variable that is passed to the forecast soundings page. So let's say I stop at 24 hour forecast. I then mouse over the map, left click for a forecast sounding. Forecast sounding will be generated in a new window and you'll see that this is the NAM forecast sounding valid uh, for a 24 hour forecast from the 6Z run for this location that I clicked. Um, if you want to know exactly where you clicked, I recommend using the map functionality over here on the right. You can left click that map. That will kick out and show you exactly where you last clicked. This green flashing arrow indicates the current sounding location. Now, we've built in some functionality to easily change this. You can either left click the menu for a new forecast sounding, or you can use the compass menu at the bottom to nudge your location north, south, east, or west. In this case, I will click and move to nudge my forecast sounding north. You can also use your arrow keys on your keypad to nudge north, south, east, or west. For this case, I'll nudge my sounding all the way over to the Dallas-Fort Worth area using my keypad. So now I'm over Dallas-Fort Worth for the keypad. I will go ahead and load my new sounding from that location. This is now the valid forecast sounding for the same hour, 24 hour from the NAM, but now for a new location. So you'll now see my green marker has now updated to the Dallas-Fort Worth area instead of the location that I was at previously. Now you can change the forms at the bottom, so if you want to take the same sounding for the same location for the same forecast hour for a different model, you can do so here. You can change the model runtime, the forecast hour, or even the map settings of the parameters. Your browser will store cookies at the bottom of the images to display the most recent soundings that you've requested. So you can easily access those by clicking on the, on the bottom soundings at the bottom of the page. Okay. So I hope this describes a little more of our functionality of the forecast soundings page. Uh, we look forward to hearing your feedback. You can do so by giving us feedback at the bottom of the page where it says give us feedback or at other locations on our site. We hope you enjoy our new forecast soundings page.